big news at Treasury on uh, Thursday, on the final day of these talks, was an agreement to continue and really restart in earnest the bilateral investment treaty talks with the following uh, basic real headline, which is that China has agreed to open up all and parts of its investment uh, areas as well as all parts of its market to these negotiations, this being the big headline coming out of these talks. But the day began with a CEO roundtable in which five American and five Chinese CEOs were able to make their issues known directly to the Chinese and American government. Let's have a look. American and Chinese business leaders ranging from China's Lenovo to American chemical giant DuPont converged on the U.S. Treasury Department Thursday to share ideas and express concerns to government officials from both nations. It's been a mutually beneficial trade relationship complicated by domestic politics. While the U.S. Congress identified Chinese telecom giants Huawei and ZTE as possible threats to U.S. security, China's Lenovo has become a popular provider for U.S. government laptops and is now number one in the world in personal computer sales. DuPont, meanwhile, has ongoing civil and federal court cases against former employees charged with stealing trade secrets from China. Nonetheless, Corning CEO Wendell Weeks sent CCTV a statement saying these were extremely productive and constructive talks designed to further economic opportunities in China and the U.S. China is an extremely important market for Corning, and I was pleased to be invited to participate in the discussion. Chinese Commerce Minister Gao Hu Cheng said there was real progress in the negotiations for a bilateral investment treaty, or BIT. We reviewed the past nine rounds of bilateral investment treaties and agreed to enter into substantive stage of negotiations as soon as possible. A senior U.S. Treasury Department official says China has agreed to begin these negotiations by easing existing restrictions on foreign investments in China, which will be particularly important to American telecommunication and financial service companies. That same official tells CCTV News that China has pledged to work towards creating a pilot Shanghai free trade zone, which would give foreign investors unrestricted access to do business in Shanghai. When the U.S. Federal Reserve starts tapering off its massive economic stimulus program and by how much also concerned Chinese representatives, they told reporters the U.S. should take into account how these decisions will affect the global financial system. Meantime, China's finance minister reassured the Americans about the slowdown in China's economic growth. We think this is a necessary phenomenon of restructuring, no possibility of hard landing.